welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is going to be another reading vlog. Um, so today is Monday, it's the start of a new week um, and I have finished work. Um, it's actually pretty late now, it's about nine o'clock so I finished work a while ago but I've just been chilling, watching booktube and I had my tea, I had a nice shepherd's pie which was really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to get um, cozied up and settled down now and get stuck into my book. Um, so I'm currently reading the City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. Um, I started this yesterday when I was in town. I had a little read whilst I was in the coffee shop um, and I've got up to page um, 26. Um, so I'm not too far in, it's still early days, um, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's been really easy to kind of get stuck in. Um, not much has happened so far. We've basically just been following the main character, Nari, um, who is a con artist on the streets of Cairo. Um, and it's very clear from the beginning that she has a kind of special skill um, where she can kind of tell whether or not people are unwell. Um, so she can diagnose people basically. Um, so it seems like she's got some kind of magical power, but we don't really know that. And Nari doesn't know that either. Um, but yeah, so she's got this kind of skill that she uses very much to her advantage to make her way on the streets. I'm enjoying the world um, so far. I'm enjoying the writing. Um, I like the main character so far, but yeah, we're still very early days. Um, so I am gonna go and get settled down in bed now and get stuck into this book. I might make a little hot chocolate or something um, and just get cozied up, but I will um, check in with you if I have any more updates. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Wednesday today. Um, I haven't spoken to you in a little while just because I've been super busy with work um, but I have read a little bit more of my book so I thought I'd give you a quick update. So I am now on page 56 um, and I realised I don't think I did a very good job at explaining what this book is about. Um, so basically it's the first book in a adult fantasy series um, that's set in 18th century Cairo initially um, and we're following the main character Nahari who is a con artist um, and she has has um, some kind of um, magical abilities so she's definitely got an ability for language where she can understand any language that she hears and she can instantly speak the language and um, she's also got an affinity for healing so she is able to sense people's ailments um, and she definitely uses that to her advantage to make some money and to make her way on the streets um, so she runs these cons um, where she will essentially misdiagnose people if she thinks they've got a lot of money um, and she will send them to her friend who owns an apothecary to buy all of these random remedies and things that they don't actually really need um, and then she'll get a cut of the profit um, so that's how she's kind of making her way um, but she doesn't love what she does she really wants to go to university so she's trying to save up money so that she can get a formal education in medicine um, so that's her dream but her life kind of um, takes a turn um, when this woman comes to see her um, asking for her help um, so this woman um, is really worried because she thinks that her daughter has been possessed by some kind of evil demon. Um, so she asks for Nahari's help um, and Nahari um, agrees to do this like ritual to try and um, get rid of this demon. It's kind of like an exorcism type thing. Um, so she decides to do it for some money, even though she doesn't really believe in all that stuff. Um, but when she's in the middle of doing this ritual, when she's singing this song in her ancient language, she kind of accidentally summons a djinn warrior called Dara. So Dara pops up um, and he is really grumpy and grouchy, which is always fun to read about. Um, but he um, kind of recognises Nahari for who she really is. Um, and he tells her about this whole other world that exists, this magical realm called Devabad. Um, and he hints at the fact that he thinks Nahari um, is originally from the city of Brass or that her ancestors are from there because of the kind of magical abilities that she has. Um, so Nahari and Dara decide to kind of make their way across the desert to try to get to the city of Brass um, to seek sanctuary because basically when Nahari summoned Dara she caught the attention of this other group of 
um, people who seem like they're out to get them. I don't know a huge amount about those other people, um, but essentially Nahari and Dara are now on the run to the City of Brass and that is where we're up to at the moment. So a lot has happened in the first 50 odd pages or so um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving the setting. Um, I'm really enjoying the fact that this is set in kind of the desert because it's very different to sort of typical adult fantasy books that I read which are usually based on like medieval culture and kind of you know like dungeons and um, castles and dragons and forests and stuff and don't get me wrong I love all that stuff um, but it's quite refreshing to read something that is um, in a slightly different setting um, and I feel like this is the perfect book for summer as well because obviously you've got all that imagery of like the hot desert um, and so if you're like me and you like to theme your books to the season I feel like this is a great fantasy book to pick up in the summer um, but anyway, I have been rambling on for a little while now, so I am going to go and, um, and read a bit more of my book, but I will let you know um, if I have any more updates. So I've just read a little bit more of my book and I just wanted to pop on here quickly and let you know um, that it's actually dual perspectives and I didn't realise that going in. Um, so we've obviously got the perspective of Nahari who's travelling to the city of Brass um, but then we've also got the perspective of a prince who's called um, Ali Zaid. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He goes by Ali in the book so I'm just going to call him Prince Ali. Um, but yeah, so we've also got his perspective and he is actually in the magical realm of Devabad. He lives in the city of Brass. Um, so we've got his perspective as well which is quite nice, it's quite um, nice to flick between the two um, but what I would say is Prince Ali's chapters are a lot more political um, and there's a lot of information in the chapters, it's quite info dumpy um, but not in a way that's like a big chunk of info, it's, it's woven into the conversations which I like um, but it does make it read quite slow just because I'm trying to wrap my head around everything and get, get you know understand the world um, but it's very clear there was a war that happened um, and there's also a lot of tension within the city of brass um, between the pure-blooded jinn and the half-blooded jinn who are called Sharfit um, and there's this whole conversation about whether or not they should have equal rights um, and it seems like there's some kind of a rebellion bubbling but I don't know a huge amount just yet because um, I'm still very early on in the book um, but yes so I'm still trying to just get my head around everything and um, what I would say as well is that um, because this is set in the Middle East there's a lot of terminology and words and things that I'm not personally familiar with um, so I think that's making it quite a slow read for me. Um, there is a glossary in the back which is really helpful but it does kind of slow me down having to flick to the glossary every now and then just to check the meaning of certain words um, but I'm hoping that kind of as we go through the book I'll get used to the terminology and things and um, it'll become a bit quicker um but yes i am still enjoying it um i'm excited to see where the plot goes um i don't know which perspective i like best just yet um i'm loving all the descriptions of the city in ali's chapters i will say that it is very atmospheric um but i'm quite liking the banter between um nahari and um dara um so that, that's quite fun to read as well so yeah so i'm gonna um jump back into my book read a bit more and i'll update you as i go so it's Saturday and I've read a little bit more of my book I am now about 160 pages in and I'm still really enjoying it um, so I'm starting to get my head around the politics a little bit more now um, so we've discovered that the city of brass was actually ruled by a specific group of, of jinn um, but they were overthrown by some of the other jinn clans um, because they didn't quite agree with the way that they were ruling the city um, and they also didn't agree with the way that they treated the Sharfit who are mixed 
race. So I think I mentioned before that the Sharfit are part jinn, part human, um, and different members of the of the jinn kind of have very different opinions on how the Sharfit should be treated. So that's all very interesting to read about. And there's a lot more to it than that as well, but um, obviously I don't want to go into too much detail and give too many spoilers. Um, but yes, I'm enjoying the political intrigue within this book. Um, I'm also enjoying the character of Ali. He is very interesting because he is very much torn between what he thinks is right for his people versus his family and what his family believe in. Um, so he is very much kind of having to um, decide for himself what he wants to do and what path he wants to take, which is quite interesting. Um, I, I'm also enjoying the fact that we're getting different perspectives from different characters. Um, so we've got Dahra, who's with Nari, uh, and we've got um, the people who are within the city of Brass, so the kind of rulers of the um, city of Brass, um, and they are both recounting historical events that happened, um, but they have very different spins on it and very different opinions about what happened, which is quite interesting to read about. It's quite nice to get different perspectives within this book, um, so I'm enjoying that. Um, there's a little bit of a romance that's starting to blossom. I would say the romance feels a little bit heavy-handed for me. Um, I prefer something that's a little bit more slow burn, um, but I am still enjoying it. The banter between the two characters is, um, is great and it's really fun to read. Um, so yes, um, I'm still obviously really, really enjoying this book and it's very atmospheric and everything and I'm enjoying just being in a whole new world. Um, but anyway, I don't know how much more I'm going to read today because my boyfriend and I are about to go out for lunch. We're going to go into town and just have a little mooch around in the shops. Um, and as I say, get some lunch. I think we're going to go to Wagamama's, um, but I'm not sure. Um, so yes, I don't know how much more I'm going to read, um, but obviously I will update you when I've next got something to talk to you about. Um, and I might film a few clips in town um, if I can. Um, but other than that, I will probably check in with you later when I've next got some more reading updates. Sunday. Um, my boyfriend has just left for placement which is quite sad um, but I am just getting cozied up and settled down for the evening um, and I thought I would switch on the camera because I've not checked in with you for a little while. Um, so I have had a lovely weekend. Uh, my boyfriend and I went out for lunch yesterday. We went to Wagamama's which was delicious uh, and then we came home and we watched a horror film. Um, we actually watched Poltergeist the 1980s film and it was the first time either of us had ever seen that film and my goodness is that film a wild ride like it is so ridiculous but in all the best possible ways um, and neither of us could predict what was going to happen and it was just a really fun time so yeah we thoroughly enjoyed that um today i've just been chilling out mostly doing boring things like washing and things changing the bed sheets and all that sort of stuff um and um, I've done quite a lot of reading as well, which has been really, really lovely. Um, I think I've read probably over 100 pages today. Um, I'm now kind of just gone halfway through the book. Um, so I'm properly invested now and I am really, really enjoying it. Um, we've got to the bit where kind of the two different um, 
plot lines are merging, which is really interesting. So I'm very excited to see how all of the different characters are going to interact and how the plot is going to move forwards from here. Um, so that's going to be really fun. Obviously, I can't say too much because I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but we have um, we've met a few different kind of mythological creatures and things, which have been fun to read about. Um, the pace has definitely picked up. It's um, it's getting really good. Um, there's been a few kind of actiony scenes and things um the political the political intrigue is really 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 fascinating um even though i'm still kind of getting my head around everything but i'm enjoying how complex and fleshed out this world is um so that's a fun time um but yeah as i say i'm about halfway through um i'm probably going to settle down now as i said i might read a bit more or i might have a bit of a break now and just watch some booktube or something oh hello Hi, sorry, I just got interrupted because my um, boyfriend just popped back. He um, he forgot something, so he just ran in. Um, so that was nice to see him quickly again. Um, but anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. I've lost my train of thought. Uh, but basically, I think I'm just going to settle down for the night now. Um, probably watch some booktube or something. I've got myself a nice hot cup of tea. So I'm going to enjoy this. Um, and I might treat myself to a little goo pudding. I've got a, a goo, like chocolate pot in the fridge that's been calling to me so I think I might go and grab that and have that as a bit of a Sunday night treat um, and then I better get some sleep because tomorrow is the start of a new working week so I need to catch my sleep and um, so I can feel all refreshed and everything for the week ahead but anyway I will check in with you tomorrow hopefully if I read some more of my book um, and yeah thanks for listening to me ramble Hello, it's Wednesday today. I haven't spoken to you in a little while. Honestly, because I've not been feeling 100% this week. I've been feeling a little bit run down and not quite my usual self. Um, I think I've just been quite stressed with work at the moment and it started to catch up with me a little bit um, and I've just not been feeling 100%. Don't worry, I haven't got COVID or anything. I have to test myself twice a week um, for work anyway. So it's definitely not that, but I've just not been feeling um, very energetic and things. So I haven't really wanted to be on the camera, um, but yes, I'm I am doing okay. I have been enjoying sitting in this little window reading my book. Um, it's been really rainy recently. It was actually thundering yesterday and I was really enjoying kind of sitting here and just watching the rain, listening to the thunder. It was really atmospheric. Um, but anyway, I wanted to pop on here quickly just to let you know that I've actually treated myself to a couple of new books. Um, so I went to fill up my car with petrol and popped into the Asda next door just to pick up a few bits and bobs that I needed and I made the fatal mistake of um, going down the book aisle and I treated myself to some books. Um, they had this deal on which was um, buy two for £4.50 which I feel like is such a steal and um, I saw a couple of covers and I was just very intrigued um, so I got these books I got these two so um, fun fact I have never actually read a thriller book um, I know I'm just a bit of a wuss and have been a little bit intimidated by the genre and just worried that I might get really scared and not be able to sleep um, but I have been really enjoying like horror films and um, watching crimey stuff recently and I just feel like I'm in the mood for something that's a little bit twisty and turny, something that's going to keep me on my toes and something that's just going to be a bit of a change of pace to what I've um, been reading recently. Um, so yeah, and then I saw this cover and I feel like I recognise it. 
I feel like people have been talking about this book online um, and I just picked it up. Um, so this is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Again, I feel like this author, I feel like she's written quite a few horror bit, not horror, uh, thriller books. Um, so I just feel like maybe she would be a good one to start with. And I had a quick flick through and the writing seems really like easy to read. So I just feel like it'd be quite a quick, a quite a quick read. And it's also a lovely floppy paperback, <laughs> which is always enjoyable. It's always nice to read a, a floppy paperback. It's really satisfying for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I picked up this one, The Family Upstairs. And I also picked up this one, Invisible Girl by the same author um, and I just love the the bright colored spines I think they look really lovely together and I was just intrigued so this one the family upstairs um, it says on the back it says be careful who you let in in a large house in London's fashionable Chelsea a baby is awake in her cot well fed and well cared for she is happily waiting for someone to pick her up in the kitchen lie three decomposing corpses Close to them is a hastily scrawled note. They've been dead for several days. Who has been looking after the baby and where did they go? That's all it says, colour me intrigued. I mean, we've already got decomposing corpses on the, on the blurb. I feel like this is setting the tone of the book. <laughs> I don't know what I'm letting myself in for, but I think it's gonna be a wild ride. Um, and then the other one, Invisible Girl, I'll give you a quick read on the back. Um, so it says, you don't see her, but she sees you. Already creepy. Um, it says, midnight in an area of urban wasteland where cats hunt and foxes shriek, a girl is watching. When Sapphire Maddox was 10, something terrible happened and she carried the pain of it ever since. The man she thought was going to heal her didn't, and now she hides, learning his secrets invisible in the shadows. Owen Pick is invisible too. He's never had a girlfriend, he's never even had a friend. Nobody sees him, nobody cares. But when Sapphire goes missing from opposite his house on Valentine's night, suddenly the world seems to be watching Owen, accusing him, holding him responsible for Sapphire's disappearance. Hmm, so yeah. Let me know if you've read either of these ones and what you think. I'm excited to read my first ho um, horror, read my first thriller novel and see see if I enjoy it. Um, so yes, I'm really excited about this little random midweek treat to myself. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to check in with you about was City of Brass. Um, so I've read a little bit more since I last spoke to you. I am now on page 353. Um, so I've just got this little chunk left. Um, I think it's about probably just over 150 pages left. Um, so yeah, I'm quite far through now and I'm really enjoying it. Obviously I can't say too much because I don't want to give any spoilers or anything because obviously I'm quite far through now. Um, but I will say I'm enjoying seeing all the different characters interact with each other i'm intrigued by the by the politics of the world um and i'm just interested to see how this story wraps up it's getting good it's getting juicy uh, i am very much enjoying it um I will say though the character of Prince Ali is starting to annoy me a little bit in places. He, bless him, always puts his foot in it and he's always coming out and saying the wrong thing and I just feel like, oh, come on Prince Ali, you need to um, think before you speak. Um, but it's quite, I suppose it's quite endearing in a way and he just kind of obviously has no filter when he says things. Um, but anyway, yes, I'm still enjoying it. So I am probably going to get cozied up now and go to bed and um, read a little bit more of my book. Um, but I will update you if I have any more thoughts and feelings.
hi guys so it's sunday today um yesterday my boyfriend and i we actually went to london to go and see um cinderella um which is the new musical by andrew lloyd webber and oh my goodness it was so good i had the best time um it starred carrie hope fletcher and i just feel like she is the most talented woman she's incredible um so that was so good um and i read a little bit of my book on the train but honestly i had to put it down because it's getting so good honestly the last like 50 pages that I've read there's been so many shocking moments so many twists so many turns so many reveals so much is happening um that I just had to put it down because I want to kind of finish it um when I'm not on the train so that I can fully appreciate it and not have all the sounds and the distractions and stuff um so I am going to finish the book today I'm so excited and also really nervous to see how it ends um but yes I'll let you know I, th I think I've only got about 50 pages left so let's see what happens Okay, so I have just finished The City of Brass. Oh my goodness, I love this book. The last, like, 100 pages or so were a complete wild ride. Oh my goodness, so much happened. that my, I feel like my brain is just still trying to process everything. Honestly, it was such a good ending. Um, yeah, I just, this is incredible. This is such a good fantasy book I feel like it was fairly kind of slow towards the beginning but the pace definitely picked up kind of halfway through and the ending was just wild I was just flying through the pages because so much happened um but it's just it's amazing it's it's really well fleshed out world and I think this is kind of one of the only books that I've read where I honestly don't know whose side I'm rooting for in this story like there's so much going on in the kind of politics of the world everybody has very different opinions and I'll be reading something obviously I'm not going into any spoilers here but I'll be reading something from someone's perspective and think okay I'm kind of on their side but then I'll read something from someone else's perspective and I think oh well maybe they've kind of got a point and all of the characters are kind of um very complex and feel very real um and they all have um like questionable morality in places they're all they all make mistakes they all have um it's just it's hard to explain but basically I honestly just don't know how to think or feel at the end of this book and I just need to jump into the second book to just figure out what's going on because it's left so many questions and so many things that I want answered and it was just such a wild ride oh my goodness highly recommend this book I feel like I'm not making any sense at all here but I don't it's hard to talk about without giving any spoilers um but yes I definitely recommend this book it was it was really really good really atmospheric the characters were really complex um the romance I would say did uh, I didn't really buy into it a huge amount during this book but now I've got to the end I don't know whether that one may be intentional I don't know I don't know how I feel I don't know how I feel um but yeah it was so good I can't wait to kind of jump into straight into the next one I feel like I need to read the next one quite soon because there's so much information packed into this book that I feel like I will forget everything <laughs> if I don't immediately start the next book so I feel like I need to get my hands on the second book and um, because I need to find out what happens but yes, please let me know if you've read this book because I'd love to talk to someone about it because, as I say, I had such a good time with it um, and it's really difficult to talk about without giving any spoilers. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this this vlog. Um, I really enjoyed filming it. I know it took me a little while to get through this book just because of life and um, things. I've just been busy. Um, but um, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, 
thank you if you've made it this far um i suppose i'm gonna go i need to like process what's happened um but yes i am gonna go now um i will probably um upload another video soon i'm thinking i might do a video on kind of reading my first ever thriller i think that'll be a fun time so let me know if you would be interested in seeing that and yeah thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day um, and i will see you in my next one bye